Today we are looking at a $9,000 Jefferson nickel coin. Now what in the world could make a coin like this valuable? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Now, this is a 1946 Jefferson nickel. Now, it is not supposed to look like this. This is what your typical 35% silver nickels from 1942 to 1945 look like. So, let's look at the 1942 to 1945 just real quick. Here's a 1942. Now, for the year 1942, there will be non-silver nickels and 35% silver nickels. So, we're going to look at how you tell the difference of those real quick. First up, here is a non-silver Jefferson nickel from 1942. You'll see over here on the right side of the building, on the reverse of the coin, you'll see that little tiny D mint mark. If you see... A 1942 with a little mint mark like that or no mint mark at all, it is a non-silver Jefferson nickel from 1942. Here's an example of that. Here's the no mint mark Jefferson nickel from 1942. That is not silver. Now, here is a 1942 that is silver. Now, in this condition, of course, a coin like this is really valuable in this condition, but a lot of the 1942 silver nickels, uh, 1942 to 1945, they'll look very similar to this coin here uh, when they're circulated and worn and stuff over time. But if you have a pristine one, you know, a very high mint state grade, it could look like this. Now, the way that you tell if this is silver or not, all you have to do is look above the building. You'll see that large P mint mark. You will either have a large P, a large D mint mark like this one here, or a large S mint mark like this one here. So if you find a Jefferson nickel from 1942, 1943, 1944, or 1945 that has that large P, D, or S mint mark, it is 35% silver. Um, also, uh, for the proof coin from 1942, the proof nickel, you will have the type 1 and type 2 that has uh, the large P mint mark, for the type 2, no mint mark for the type 1. Um, so, keep that in mind. Now, back to this coin here. This is a 1946 Jefferson nickel. In 1946, they did not make these nickels 35% silver. 1945 was the last year of those. They called those the war nickels uh, because during the war they needed nickel, right? So, they used 35% silver to create those coins. Uh, but this is 1946, so it's not supposed to be silver. However, this is a 1946 Jefferson nickel coin design that was actually struck on one of those war nickel planchets that they used previously from 1942 to 1945. So it is a very valuable mint error coin, and that's why this nickel sold for over $9,000. So always inspect your coins closely. You know, one of my first videos that I ever did was on the Henning nickel. I need, I probably should have added that into this video, but we'll do a whole video of that nickel as well. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, this guy, you know, faked or counterfeited uh, nickel coins uh, back in that time period. We'll get more into that in another video, but... Yeah, always check your 1946 or 47, 48 nickels. Make sure that they're not struck onto one of these old war nickel planchets uh, because it can give them a lot of value. And feel free to check out my other coin videos here on the channel. We are uploading coin videos every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.